marami akong nagtanong sa akin kung ano yung mga posisyon na ano dito sa river nagtanong sa akin kung ano yung mga posisyon na ano dito sa river so ngayon uh, siyempre hindi naman ako talaga uh, expert sa mga posisyon dito hindi ako masyadong uh, inform sa lahat ng mga function so uh, andito yung kasama ko sa barko uh, siya mas may alam siya kasi uh, Si Rory is a uh, you are a uh, dual license, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah. So Rory, his name is Rory, and uh, siya ay uh, makinista dito sa barko namin. So para siyang chief engineer. Okay, so uh, bali si Rory is a uh, dual license, so pwede siyang maging kapitan, pwede rin siyang maging chief engineer. You can be a captain and you can be a yeah, captain. Yeah, yeah. I've got a sailing license as well for the river. Yeah. yeah. So, Rory has a sailing license. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, guys, uh, I will ask Rory what are the uh, what are the positions here in the river. Yeah. So, uh, can you tell us? Uh, What are the positions here in the river, st starting from the, from the lowest, lowest to the up highest. to the highest? Okay, I can. Yeah. Well, you start with uh, Dexma, that's yeah. the lowest in function. Um, the requirements are, you must be minimal 16 years old, and you have to get your blue book. So that's the, basically it's a starting position, so that is the lowest position. Yeah. So, if a uh, if a next month, if you are next month, uh, do you need to study or you have a maritime study or no, no, you, no, you need uh, uh, your nothing? Yeah, yeah. It's just to to start up. So it's just uh, you're an extra hand on deck, basically, just to get to know the sailing. So let's say I have a course like I'm a I'm in hotel or restaurant. Yeah. Or I'm an accountant, yeah. and uh, I want to be a dexman. I can apply. You can apply. You just have to get your medical check and uh, blue book, and you can apply. Oh, okay. It's like a starting uh, starting, starting position. position. Yeah. Oh, okay. For everybody to learn. So, uh, let's say he's a dexman already. He's on board the ship. Let's say uh, how can he become a light matros? Yeah, that's the next function. That's the light matros. Light matros is basically uh, the step behind Dexmon, and you have to follow a study, a maritime study. Ah, uh, light matros should uh, go to school, nautical school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a sailor, because matros in Dutch means sailor in English. Okay, so let's say, let's say I have a brother. I send him to nautical school in Holland. Not in Holland. Let's say in Philippines. He's just like fresh graduate. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, let's say uh, I will bring him here to yeah. the Holland. Yeah. What will be his position? He could be a dexman or light matros. He, he could be a dexman. He could be a dexman only if he did school. If he has um, sailing days from a sea vessel, it would be different. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's say he graduated, uh, fresh graduate of school, then he get uh, you always sailing days from a sea vessel. Let's say how many years? Let's say let's one say. year. What? Only one year. Yeah, yeah. And, And then I think you can be a uh, light patrol. Uh, they will you uh, credit have, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. your sailing days yeah. at sea. Yeah, but that's the thing because river is a bit different than sea. And it's not connected to schools 
because it's, 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 it's basically in Holland we have schools for river. So uh, that's connected. But there are occasions that if you come from sea vessel mm -hmm. with multiple years of experience, you can, you can start in a different position here. That's the, that's the thing. Because later we will get to another function, uh, Sturmo. Okay. But we will first do the other ranks. Matros. Like, yeah, that's Matros. You must be minimal 17 years old. Uh, or uh, to be a Matros. To be a Matros. But uh, you cannot go directly as a Matros, yeah? No, no, no. no, no. You should uh, pass the exam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should pass the exam. Or, it says here, I have to look it up on the internet as well. Or, if you come from a sea vessel, if you have 500 sailing days as deck crew on a sea vessel, you can be straight matros. Okay, mga brad. So, narinig nyo yung sinabi ni Rory na uh, 500 sailing days from a sea vessel. So, magtataka na lang kayo bakit talaga kailangan sa opisina pag nag-apply ka is 5 years na minimum experience. So, pinasubrahan nila dun sa uh, requirements ng sub dito. So, yung sub na yun is parang marina yun sa Pilipinas. So, yun yung requirements para makakuha ka ng river book. Okay, so at least uh, naliwanagan kayo ng konti siguro ano. Okay, so patuloy natin. So if you have 500 uh, sailing days on a sea vessel, you can be in Matros. Oh, but uh, as we came, I came here, I was just light Matros. They just honor my sailing days yeah. in sea vessel yeah, as so a light Matros. Yeah, so you became light Matros. But uh, they, they did not credit me as a Matros okay. because I okay. have uh, more than uh, five years experience on the sea. Okay. Okay. It's not just five years because I worked for almost 13 years in a maritime industry. If I include all... No, it says here, if you have those 500 sailing days and then you must do the education, what you did. And then you are Matros, so it was correct. Uh, Ah, yeah. okay. It's so the exactly. education that I did is what was the the correct way. The the exam. The ex no, yeah. be before the, the exam, I did the edu education. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like uh, uh guys, uh meron akong uh, parang module na na sinasagutan noon nung ano ako nung bago ako mag-exam. So yung pangalan ng school na sinasagutan na na pinag-inrolan sa akin tapos yung module na sinasagutan ko sa online is Nova College but the, at the end nag-exam ako sa Edomar yun yung pinag-examan ko ng, ng uh, para, ko, para sa matros license matros license uh, the exam is for a license yeah the function matros you get a stand. license for the matros yeah so it's like uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, your license for working in the river. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And you get it by a stamp in the blue book. River book. The river book. book. This book. Yeah. This book. Okay. And and yeah. After matros, you have full matros. It's in Dutch full matros. And basically in German it's boatsman, boatsman. Mm. And I think in sea vessel terms it would be bosom. Ah, okay. in, in, in sea vessel terms and you can be a full matros um, if you have one year of sailing as a matros so you need one year sailing as a matros and then you can be a full matros and I think the right word in English is boss for it okay yeah, that's ah, so it's not so far for me no I'll no. be Kunti na lang mga brad magiging bull matros na rin ako and if you would do it without any uh, education, it's possible, only through sailing years, it would take you four years for the drops. Okay, it so take you four years. years. But if you have the education like I did, yeah. it will be faster. Yeah, and probably because you have the sailing days from sea. Uh, yeah. And then after Volmatros is Sturman. Sturman, I think the English word for, is, for it is uh, 
first officer. officer. Oh, first officer. Yeah, yeah. chief yeah. officer. Um, that you can get after a year of sailing from full matros. So, like one year of sailing as a full matros, yeah. then automatically you'll be a storeman. Yeah, you always register. The, the skipper or the captain always registers the days sailing of the ship in the red book, the mm. fire book. Every year you go with the fire title book to the to an office in Rotterdam mm -hmm. and you take your blue book as well and they will check the sailing days. If it's the same. If it's the same they, and then they stamp it. Then you're a storm. Then you're a storm. Yeah. And one one year they count 180 days is a is a year because mm -hmm. of the system. Two 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 weeks, two weeks or one Ah month. okay, yeah. So yeah, they cut it in the half. half. Because everybody it's, does. Uh, just like uh, six months. Yeah. Because everybody does two weeks on board, two, two weeks, weeks usually. That's the usually. Yeah, but for us, we say. Yeah, so you have those 180 days for sure. Only for six yeah. months. Yeah, yeah. You, we, don't, we don't need to work for one year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, it's also possible if you come from a sea vessel, a minimal 500 sailing days as a captain on a sea ship. Then you can also get the stamp stirma. Ah, if you're a captain on a, ito mga, mga brand, interesting. So, if if you are a captain from a seagoing vessel, yeah. you have uh, how much? 500? 500 sailing days. 500 sailing days at sea. Yeah, as a captain. As a captain. Yeah. Not a chief officer, not a second officer. Yeah, it says here captain. It should be really a captain. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay, so if you really are a captain, then yeah. you can be Sturman. Sturman, yeah. so like chief officer here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's like credited here. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah, guys. Interesting tong uh, sinabi ni ano Rory. So the best information to para sa inyo sa mga kusunod ang pumunta dito sa ilog. But uh, there's one uh, one function that uh, I have known. We have it here on board, the yeah. Matros motor Motor driver. Yeah. So I would like also to know what About are those. the functions that it really came from you because what yeah. I know is like Matros motor driver is like like a right hand of the chief engineer like that? Yeah, yeah, like that. So basically if you are a sailor, you must be a sailor. Um, if you want to choose the technical way the river mm -hmm. usually those functions only exist on uh, passenger ships or cruise ships so basically if you are a sailor and you choose the path of um, yeah, the technical part the yeah, engine, the, engine uh, to be part, machinist yeah to be an engineer you if you are one year matros sailing on the same vessel you can get the function uh, matros motor driver that is basically the, the assistant of the machinist of the engineer yeah. So uh, let's say how how can you be a matros motor driver? Basically only what by sailing requirement? days. Only, only by, by sailing, sailing days. days. Yes. Ah, by and, sailing days. and on the same ship. Yeah, on the same ship. It's not like you're no, jumping you, to another you, you, ship you, and jumping to another ship. No, no, no. You don't have to do an exam for it. Oh, okay. And before it was like this. You can be an engineer only by sailing days. Before? Before. Only but, by sailing days. But now? Now you have to do an exam. It's a small education. Of small, it's in Rotterdam based. You can do education to become an uh, you, you did that one also? No, because I was still in the time you can only get it by sailing days. Ah, okay. Uh, 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 so so this, you uh, got your license only by sailing, sailing yeah, days yeah, yeah, yeah. to be a machinist or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now it changed. You have to, you can be a maximal matros motor driver. An engineer to get the stamp in your blue book engineer you have to do an uh, exam okay. education and exam so just like what I did yeah I think it takes about one year what, I, what I've seen but it's, it's new so yeah that's it oh. yeah. so usually the last position was the skipper yeah. so usually the skipper was the captain yeah, yeah. or the ship owner yeah, the skipper is basically if you are a Sturman, uh -huh. if you come to the function Sturman, so if you want to go from Dexman to Sturman without any education, it's possible, it will take you five years of sailing. From Dexman to Sturman. To Sturman. Yeah, it takes you five years and without any education. Okay, 
to Sturman to Skipper. Sturman to Skipper. Sturman is the last uh, function in your blue book. And then if you want to become a Skipper, if you are a Sturman, you can start with your education for your papers. So your certificates, uh, your sailing license. So basically... Ah, okay, you need to study also. Okay. You need to study again. So basically that you can do it from the ship, it's possible. Mm -hmm. But the exam you have to do at location in Rotterdam or somewhere else in Holland. Basically it's, it's a few certificates but you have to get. So you get your uh, Mari phone that is... Uh, like Jim, this is BHF. It's Markom B. Huh? In, in English Markom B, it's like for to call, radio call. Yeah, it's, we call it uh, in the sea ship, it's called uh, GMDSS. Okay. okay. Global Maritime Distress Safety System. Okay. It's uh, for okay. calling, yeah. also yeah. using BHF, uh, yeah. some, BHF, some other kinds of MF, HF, yeah. Yeah. like that. Here we only have VHF. Uh, we only have VHF here. Yeah. But yeah. because of sea ship, they have. They have uh, I forgot the, the, the names. We have VHF also, MF, HF, okay. and uh, SAT, SAT C, SAT, I don't know, I forgot. Okay, okay. It's a... Uh, but you can forget because now you're on the river and now it's yeah, only VHF. Yeah, I... Nakalimutan ko na mga brad, yung training ko sa GMDSS. Wala na. Binura ko na sa isip ko kasi kailangan natin mag-download ng panibagong system na only for inland so yung sa utak ko na yung sa seagoing wala na bye bye na yeah. goodbye yeah. goodbye so you start with vhf uh, certificate then your radar mm. radar course uh, radar. it's a real course real yeah course. the only here is radar yeah, yeah. but on sea ship they use uh, arpa okay. okay arpa is like automatic radar plotting aid okay it's a uh, Everything, it, all the information that you need, it's already there. Okay, okay. In Arpa, but okay. here it's only it's, radar. It's, yeah, it's only radar. So there's a few certificates which you have to get before you can get your sailing license. And the sailing license um, exists also of, of, of a lot of parts. So um, it's navigation, uh, it's also um, the English word, the knowledge of the sailing area of Holland, Belgium, and Germany basic knowledge oh, okay. so it's all parts so the sailing license can be seven parts so every time you have to do a course short course get one part examination and all those parts together it's your sailing license oh, okay so then if you are Sturman and you did all the certificates and your sailing license the course you get all of that you can be a skipper you can be a skipper but the thing is all those examinations are in Dutch so, or German. Okay. Yeah. So guys, let's say uh, if you like a Filipino guy would like to be a captain here, yeah. it's really difficult because you must True. speak and read Dutch, Dutch and yeah. also maybe write. Yeah. 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 So that's the main requirement. Yeah. So learn Dutch. Because so you yeah. must learn the uh, Dutch language. Dutch or know? German. But German. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you have certain areas of the river, so let's say the Rhine yeah. River. If you have a sailing license, you can sail until the German border where the Rhine River starts. Mm -hmm. But then you need a special, uh, it's, it's also a certificate for the Rhine. Yes. So it's a different certificate. You have also the, the Danube, Danube. Go, going from the Black Sea oh. to Romania. Oh, yeah. So this river is connected up. To the Black Sea. You can sail to the Black Sea. We can, yeah. we can sail, but yeah. our ship is not possible maybe, to go there. No, no, no. You have a lot of with low, low bridges. With the height of yeah. our ship, yeah. maybe. Oh. True. So you can you could sail to Romania, Constanza to the Black Sea, but and on the Danube you need a different license again. Oh, okay. And for example, to inquire the Rhine patent, you need sailing trips on the Rhine. So you need to show that you've been there sailing eight times upstream, eight times downstream and then you can apply for the course mm -hmm. you have to study they will ask you uh, yeah things which you can only know if you've been there so it's like a practical knowledge uh, 
and theoretically knowledge because they will ask you the, 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 the kilometers, uh, where are certain bridges, where is it undeep. Oh, so and, that's hard. And then if you have all those things together, so the sailing license, your steerman, you have the sailing license, your radar, your VHF, the Ryan patent, then you can be a skipper. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, uh... But, yeah. Yeah, for you it's okay. Yeah, because but, I know the language. Yeah, for us, the so, language only will kill us already. Yeah. Well, I know <laughs> one guy who speaks... Uh, oh. He speaks... Uh, Dutch. Yes, yeah. from the Philippines. So it is possible. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ah, he 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 become a captain here. Not yet, not yet. But I think he's busy with the, getting his papers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. So, but uh, he how many years he was been uh, here? Uh, been he he can able to speak. I think between five and ten years. Five to ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Grandfather, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was it. That was all the functions of the river, and uh, yeah. Okay. So, so ayun. So, uh, pasalamat tayo kay Rory. Uh, what I said is, uh, we'll say thank you to you yeah. because uh, you explained to us the, the, the functions. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. are the really uh, it's like it's not complete, but it's a uh, big information yeah, already yeah, for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So, thanks. Yeah, no problem. So good luck, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you also. It's nice. Thanks.